Semifinals of the NCAA Division II Volleyball West Regional. Cal State LA with the three set victory over Central Washington. Here at the post match press conference, head coach Juan Figueroa, along with student athletes Eliza Cannon, Shelby Grubbs, and Haley Roundtree, win number 100 for Coach Figueroa. Congratulations. Um, they're never easy at the, when you get to this level, but you guys fought hard, uh, took care of a good Central Washington team. Your thoughts on the match? Um, very thankful. Very thankful for um, for our team. Very thankful for um, the effort that, that we put in there. Um, follow the game plan. Follow the game plan. We we watch film, a lot of it. Some of them were really tired watching it, um, but I still made them watch the film, um, see what they were doing. We don't really know Central that well, and I thought that we executed the game plan to perfection. Uh, we were huge at the net. Shelby and Haley, they. They did a, a tremendous job at the net, um, containing their middles, um, getting to the pins, and, and I thought that, that, that we did what we wanted to do. Um, I'm just happy. I'm happy that, that we're back in the, in the Sweet 16. Um, just another crack to the, to the regional final, and, and just thankful and blessed um, to be here with, with these girls and, and just having them experience this once again. Central Washington is one of the best hitting teams in Division Two, but you had the blocking advantage tonight. 12 blocks for Cal State LA, three for Central Washington. Haley, you had seven of those. What were you seeing up at the net? Um, you know, my coach here just tells me to read. I constantly am just looking up that setter and seeing where their best option is. You know, they have a lot of good hitters, like you said, and I'm trying to read and just get my hands over the net, press, and grab that ball before they do. And so, you know, I did my best in trying to make, make big moves and read really well tonight, so. Shelby, five kills on five attempts, four blocks to go with that. Knights don't get much better than that. Talk about the offensive unit as a whole and how you came together tonight. You know, I think it's all due to our setters. I thought they made amazing choices. I mean, we were one-on-one -on -one a lot of times. I mean, we were just able to swing pretty much freely because of decisions they made. So I got to chuck it up to Eliza and Jaden for opening up that net for us. And then we were just able to take some big ribs, and I thought we had some great swings. So Eliza, talk about how you were able to serve those hitters. I mean, they do it all on their own. I barely have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, praise to them. <laughs> Questions, Paul? Um, you guys have played Central, obviously, earlier in the season. What was different this match compared to that match? Well, we won. <laughs> we won. I thought that um, this game kind of like, that game haunted us for, for a while. That game, it was early in the season. I remember um, going through that match, and it was just painful. We, we played the worst volleyball that I've ever seen one of my teams play. Um, and it was really early in the season, and I, yeah, I mean, my wife came to me, and she's like, it is going to be a long season, um, and, you know, and then we just, yeah, we, we came back strong, you know, we came back strong. After that, we had a real nice talk, you know, I was very, very nice to everybody, um, and, and we just kind of got it together. We got it together, and, and I think that it shows, you know, the progress that we've made. It shows the progress that we've made, you know, throughout the season, and, um, how we are now picking at the right time, you know, picking at the right time. So, so I'm very happy. I'm very happy, um, you know, with this win. Um, like I said, they did a really good job, you know, um, following the game plan. And for the players, what kind of turned things around for you guys? Do you think after that match? Um, I mean, after that match, we were all kind of disappointed in how we played, but we took it as a learning moment, and we're like, we can either you know, take this and turn our season around and just forget that in the past. Remember it, but learn from it. And I think we really took that path. We didn't let it haunt us like too bad, but we learned from our mistakes and we really just got all the kinks out at the beginning with that match. Mm -hmm. When that match happened, it's, we said, you know, this only happens once. And then the rest of that tournament, we got three straight sweeps. You know, we said, this is a one-time thing. We got out of our system and we're ready to play the rest of the season. <laughs> I want to take the time to congratulate Central Washington. That's a really good um, program that Mario runs over there, and, and I have the utmost respect for them and what they do over there. So congratulations to them. 
So Ronnie talked about it having the potential of being a long season, and it is for all the good reasons. You now play Chaminade in the regional final tomorrow night, uh, a team that's been very impressive. I think uh, a lot of people who haven't seen them play uh, got a surprise with the two victories that they've had. Talk about your opponent coming up tomorrow. Yeah, well, I got to go do my homework now. I got to go do my homework. We saw them early on in the season as well, um, and they are a completely different team, okay, just like we are. Um, so I'm, I'm excited for the matchup. I'm you know, stoked. I mean, Cajal does an amazing job with that, with that program as well. Um, I respect him a lot, and tomorrow is, is, is going to be a, a battle. Head coach Juan Figueroa, along with student athletes Eliza Cannon, Shelby Grubbs, and Haley Roundtree. Cal State LA is off to the regional final after a three set win over Central Washington. Congratulations and best of luck on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you.